about the dispersion of light today my topic is effect of refraction before going to to the topic i recall you what the refraction is the bending of the rays of light due to the change in medium is called refraction okay and what is the law of refraction of light <clears throat> there are two different laws the first one is the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal all lie on the same plane and the second one is that for two particular medium we can say that air or the glass having the ratio of the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of the refraction which remains constant today my topic is the effect of refraction actually what the effect what is the effect of refraction refraction shows us the real things apparent with the apparent depth for example swimming pool appears less deep when we see from the above because of refraction the light rays from the object underwater reaches our eye after the refraction and this bending of the rays of uh, light from the original path makes the depth appears less here you can see there is the actual depth, uh, depth uh, and if there is a fish and when we saw from here we see the image of the fish and we can saw the apparent depth of the Uh, this uh, pool or the lake actually what the real depth is the actual depth of the body of water is called the real depth and the apparent depth which appears less due to the refraction is called the apparent depth fish eye view to avoid the visual distortion due to refraction the archer of the fish always position itself directly under the prey then it forces a stream of a water which hits the prey and falls into the water to be eaten sometimes the archer fish avoids the vis visual distortion by instincts and just uh, they can adjust the this uh, force which they apply on the uh, uh, water streams according to the amount of the refraction here you can see how the uh, bug actually here and uh, how the bug appears here okay do you know a bear overcomes the apparent depth in instinctively in catching its prey okay mirage what is the mirage actually it is the phenomena natural phenomena in which the light rays bend and produces the displaced image of the distant object or the sky you can very well known about the mirage in the deserts deserts are actually uh, actually the mirage they are of different types uh, we can observe them in the deserts mostly when the light rays coming from the a particular uh, object travel to through the some layers and they bend by the same amount and they can uh, give the some type of image over there and we can Uh, having a um, uh, thought that there is something there for example uh, when the light coming from the uh, uh, sun fall on the ground when there is a ground is very heated and the air is cooled down mostly in the uh, desert area what will happens 
we uh, saw the image of the sky on the ground but we thought that there is a water and we uh, rushed towards it and when we come there we saw that there is just the image of the sky on the uh, ground which is due to the refraction actually it is the mirage okay <clears throat> mirage of this astronomical uh, object is one in which the light rays they are bent to produce the distorted or the multiple images from the astronomical object which is observed usually at the night there is a tidbit that the heat from the jet also produces the mirage you can mostly observe that or the areas where there are the airports you can uh, uh, we can uh, observe that the heat produces also produces the mirage the next one is the dispersion of light what is the dispersion a prism is an optical object having the transparent flat and polished surfaces that reflect the light and at least two of the flat surfaces having an angle smaller than 90% between them they are responsible for an interesting phenomena called dispersion of light the visible light is made up of seven colors the violet indigo blue green and or a yellow orange and the red when the ray of light strikes the surfaces of this prism it splits into the rays by its consti constituent colors what the dispersion is splitting of light into its component colors by refracting surface is called dispersion it occurs because the ray of every component color of white light having the different characteristics and upon entering the denser media they bend by different amounts do you know the term vib gyor v i b g y o r serve as the mnemonic it means that it helps us to recall the colors of the spectrum and their order here you can very well see the different colors of the uh, spectrum different colors which uh, disperse from the prism which is the very flat polished and transparent okay the next one is the spectrum and the rainbow as stated earlier the white light consists of seven colors these seven colors together are called the spectrum here you have the violet the indigo the blue color the green color yellow orange and red spectrum is an optical spectrum to be more specific or we can say that seven colors of light make up the spectrum what is the rainbow it is also a consequence of refraction of light it is usually visible in the sky area after the rainfall what will happens the tiny water droplets of the water present in the air and reflect the light with the prism ray of the light which is the white light they disperse into the seven different component colors hope you understand all these things today what we have discussed we discussed about the effects of refraction which having the real and apparent depth uh, the fish eye view what is the mirage and we also discussing about the dispersion of light and in dispersion of light we only discuss the spectrum what is the spectrum and what is the rainbow spectrum is the seven colors of light which make up the spectrum 
एंड वॉट इज द रेनबो द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट विच यूजली विजिबल इन द स्काई आफ्टर द रेनफॉल दिस इज ऑल फॉर टूडे एंड आई होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द लेक्चर थैंक यू वेरी मच बाय